This is my campaign summary for my blog, Understanding European Soccer. So, thank you all so much for joining me today. And here's a bit, so before even coming into this project, I've had a large passion for soccer. I've played since I was very young, I've refed it, I've done just about everything with soccer, and I really love it, and I've noticed that it's been growing within the United States. And so my goal with this project was to help people who are just coming into the sport in the U.S. who don't have the most knowledge be able to watch European soccer and actually begin to understand it after reading my book, Everything You Need to Know About Understand everything you need to know about European soccer. So the person I was targeting was males, people between the ages of 20 and 40. This statistically is the largest group that is getting into soccer. And most likely it's going to be, they're going to be located in one of the cities that has an MLS team already. So the MLS team would be a gateway for them getting into the sport. Likely they're going to be office workers or parents, uh, fathers, of kids who are starting to play soccer themselves because this is another way that people really get into the sport is their kid starts playing it and they want to understand it a little bit more and have the same passion about it. So they're looking forward to getting into soccer but don't really know how the top competitions work because it works a little bit differently in Europe. So that was my goal to help them be able to understand it. <laughs> so... I used <clears throat> multiple resources to att attract potential subscribers for my ebook. Uh, I had Instagram, which is my smallest but closest knit group, Facebook, which is my largest, but most people were just friends from mission or somewhat close, like family members. And then lastly, I had Tumblr, which I use mostly for memes, but is still a platform where I do have some followers. So my metrics that I used throughout my whole, the metrics I used during my whole performance uh, were just the amount of views, the conversion rate, and how many people saw and subscribed to the ebook. And we'll get a little bit more into that later. When posting, I had three different metrics. So I had three different types of posts I used mainly. There was my personal connection post which I used on my Instagram and my Facebook so the people who knew a little bit about me I did a personal post that you know explained why I was doing this. I had my animation which talked about how soccer was growing already incentivizing people to get in now while it's still you know, still a growing sport. And lastly is just my announcement about my book itself. So my plan was to turn those people, use those connections I have into subscribers and people who wanted to help support me. And in the end, that went all right. I only got six subscribers to my ebook. I did have 39 people check it out. There was a large bump in that after I posted my post to Facebook, which is what I expected, but I did only end up with a 15.38 conversion rate, and not a bad conversion rate, I just needed more people to be able to see it, so I needed to possibly post to different discussion boards or groups that would be more interested in the sport itself. But thank you so much for listening to my campaign summary.